Hello everyone, welcome to Productivity Central where we build real world use case solutions and we have an entire playlist for that. Please do check it out. So by default, this search button does not work if you want to uh, search in multiple columns. There is another limitation to this entire gallery is that it can only search up to 500 rows. That's one of the limitations of the gallery. There is a workaround for that. The first step that you need to do is go to file, then go to settings, then scroll down to the bottom. As you can see over here, the data row limit is set to 500. What you can do is you can increase this limit up to 2000. Even if you try to increase further, it will say that it needs to be below 2000. So this is the first thing that you can do. So set the data row limit up to 2000. Once you have done that, you can close this. So the second thing that we need to do is we need to change the search criteria for the browse gallery. So once you click on that, paste this command in the items under the item section. So what we are doing is we are basically filtering the data from the source, which is our inventory, which is the SharePoint list. What we are using is we are utilizing an amazing function, which is called the starts with. This is a lifesaver. Um, and we what we are doing is in my case, I have tech one. That's the assigned to section in my SharePoint list. And the title is the model number of and so what I'm doing is I'm searching multiple columns. I'm also searching uh, the assigned to. I'm also searching uh, the title. And if you want, you can add even the third option as well by adding, uh, by just adding the starts with again. So over here, we are utilizing the or function. And once you do this, you would be able to search as many records as possible through delegation. Uh, and we are utilizing the starts with function over here. And that's how you overcome the 500 row limit.